Finally, we're going to look at enjambment as the last of our sounds of poetry. So enjambment is a phrase that continues beyond the line break. Sometimes this will show up in conjunction with sushiro, where you're then going to stop in the next line, but what this does is it kind of runs things together and it makes it so that that ending isn't just kind of a hard stop, so it's not I'm to the end of the line, I'm to the end of the line, I'm to the end of the... Did I tell you it was the end of the line? Um, here this is going to change up things just a little bit and that can be really nice for the reader. So that phrase that continues beyond the line break and we have uh, an example here from The Wasteland by T.S. Eliot. So he says, the April is the cruelest month and there we get that pause midway that's giving us that sashura halfway through. April is the cruelest month, breeding lilacs out of the dead land, mixing memory and desire, stirring dull roots with spring rain. So in this first sentence, what we have are actually a number of pauses that then lead us into enjambment, and a pause that lead us again into enjambment. Um, so this is something where these two are working together, and that phrase continuing beyond the line break is something that makes that oral, um, or that auditory experience of the poem, a little bit different from what happens when we look at it visually.